Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Tata and Ariel are hard at it still, uh, sewing together what is going to be the last net of today. Uh, not the last one that is needed, but uh, we're going to start setting them in. And uh, we're probably going to uh, transfer some uh, fish around today. Uh, this one, and there's two there. So there's three, so it's enough to complete the first two boxes. And the the small net's already completed, so it's just a matter of uh, setting them in. And I got a, I went into town earlier today and I got a half a kilo of the number four concrete nails. Uh, kind of decided that we're just going to nail down a, a perimeter. Uh, on top of the tanks to hold these nets in place. You know, I think we finally got it perfected. What can you say, Nerio? <laughs> I mix a box. This one is easy to remove and rip. Okay, looks good to me. So you're going to put this rope around the one that's already up there? Okay. Looking good to me. So tomorrow, uh, what, what's going to happen next week on the house, Tatai? I know, but what, what's uh, what's well, step number going, one? Doing on? Yeah. Uh, roofing. Roofing? Did you order the purlins? Uh, not, not yet. Are you going to order today? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Are they open tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow's Saturday? Yeah. I thought today was Saturday. <laughs> well, I lost a day somewhere. <laughs> I thought I thought today was Saturday. Friday. Oh my God. <laughs> Gina, is today today's Friday? How the hell did I lose a day? <laughs> oh yeah. I was all panic stricken. And I mean, uh, we went to school and get the module ready. Well, that's true. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have been doing that on a Saturday. Logic never. Uh, I was all in a panic that this would be our last day to um, work on these, on these nets. But I guess we have one more day. Okay. So we might get a couple more done. So we're gonna we're gonna patent this process soon. Oh, you gotta get your have to have your vitamins, don't I? You have your vitamins and your phone. Crazy, Tatay. No, just a little bit. No. <laughs> no? Not 100 All right. <laughs> That time we, uh, we need to hook that line over. Very 
bisa. Kalian yang green kiki sampai ke tengah. So the screen net is down inside and then this larger net which is going to hold the breeders uh, is inside of that. Uh, it will be weighted down on both sides and there will be a center weight as well to hold down the aeration. So that will keep the net okay, in place. And when we want to uh, <clears throat> when we want to bring the breeders out, uh, all we have to do is remove this this large net and the uh, any fry that are in this will remain and we just remove the screen and that that catches the fry. That was my uh, that was my vision. That was how I wanted to uh, do this and I think this is gonna. This is going to work just perfect. Uh, one person can do this. There, there won't be so many breeders in it that it'll be too heavy uh, to lift that green screen out. Uh, even Marcel could do this by herself. And that was uh, always uh, in the back of my mind. I've only got two end caps left, Tatai. So we're going to have to use. Yeah, we can use wood if you want, round wood. So we're just taking this PVC and uh, fill it with sand and that acts as a weight. Uh, it's something we have. Um, you know, we could just use form bar, but that would rust. Uh, this PVC filled with sand has enough weight and it just holds that net down just perfect. Uh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough end caps. Uh, we need to buy some more. I might as well get that in my head right now. We need six, twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six. Yeah, that's the next one, Tata. This one here. So. I'm just going to get a, a bag of those end caps because we're going to need them. Well, I think 50 come in a bag and so I'll just get a complete bag. So, um, <clears throat> Tatai, can we, uh, can we re replace that net with one of those and then put a rope? Because this net is already, I'm sure there's already a fish behind it because yeah, yeah. it's already fallen in. No, we can use that one. It just needs a rope around it. Oh, okay. Whatever you want to do, Tate. You're, you're the boss. As you can see, those back, those first three tanks are full and that fourth one is filling. I had stopped the water because the, the, the water level comes up quite a bit um, while, while it's circulating through and I thought there may have been enough uh, in the tanks themselves as it drained down to fill that last one but there wasn't so I fired it up again.
All right, so we've removed uh, the net out of this tank. And I don't know how many fry we took out. Not a lot, maybe a couple hundred maybe. That were in the right place on the net. But we have to get them all out. We have to get all the fry out. That's why we're that's why we're starting over on this and doing it right now. So get out of there, bear bear. So the only way to get all the fry out of this is you can't net them out. Jeez, there's, it's impossible. They're too quick. Uh, you can't you can't use a net. So uh, we're just going to drain this tank, and any fry that are still in this will be able to catch. I've got to run into town. You have to have a ball valve for this. I'm tired of I'm tired of this end cap thing. So I'm going to run into town and get a ball valve, and uh, we'll we'll get these other two nets on this today. And I've decided the fry that were in this that were in this tank. I'm going to put in the aquarium uh, until uh, further notice, uh, until we get enough fry uh, to move into uh, a grow out box. Uh, there's not too many to put in that tank now with aeration, uh, way too many for to take up space in one of these big tanks. So uh, I've set up the aquarium there, I've mixed about half of this water with well water. Uh, to clear it up a little bit and I'll top it off with um, I'll top it off with well water uh, I need to get I need to get some more of that plastic line because I want to run aeration back to that uh, aquarium uh, so I'm, I'm on a mission and uh, we'll pick this up later alright I'm back we Finished draining that box. Tata is getting the uh, nets in place as I speak. And uh, when they're through with that, I'm going to dive in there and do the aeration. And I've still got to finish the aeration there. But before we do that, I'm going to. Uh, these are the fry that were that were in that box. Uh, not that many. Um, so I'm going to put those in here. Uh, for right now, that's all the aeration they're going to get. Uh, I'm going to pull one of those stones from that other, um, uh, that long one that's going in that far tank. I'm going to pull it out uh, and run it in here. All right, well, we've got them transferred. And there are fry of every size uh, imaginable. And there were more in there than I thought. Uh, probably in the range of 500. Uh, they have their own separate aeration, so I'm not really worried about uh, them being able to breathe, but they are crowded. If I had a small, like a small aquarium net, uh, I would fish the larger ones out of there, but I don't have a small aquarium net, and uh, no one here sells them locally. Go figure. I will endeavor to order one online because I'm going to need one for this little tank sooner or later. Uh, but there were quite a bit more fry than what I had thought in that tank. I thought there might have been 100 or 200 or so, but uh, more like 500. So, and I pulled out about six floaters that uh, didn't like the, the journey. And I think there's one more in there that he circulates over and gets into the bubbles and it sends him up. I think that's him right there. So I'll get him out of there as soon as I can. That's when a little net would come in handy. Maybe I'll have Tatai make me one out of some tie wire and some of this screen I got. Be a plan. So I've got the aeration still going in this uh, in anticipation of maybe someday uh, having time to uh, do an egg harvest. 
but that time is not upon us today because we got too much other stuff going on. And this water isn't really clear enough for me to see what's going on in there uh, when I do put eggs in it. Hopefully this will clear up in a little while. I'm going to feed them, and uh, I've got to feed everybody here pretty soon. And get on the aeration here. Well, I take it back. Popeye's beat me to it. He's, uh, he's putting this aeration in already. All it in, what it involves is uh, you got to split the line. You got to cut it in two, and uh, it's an additional up and then down into the other side. And that's the weight for one side of the net, and there's uh, the other one standing up there, and then that what he's tying to it there holds that uh, air hose down. What's wrong, Red? Be careful, huh? It's very slippery up here, Red. Number one. All right, this one's looking perfect. All right, we're transferring now. And putting them in their new home. So five females, one male. And that first female came out of there and hit Tatai right in the mouth. He was he was thinking more about tilapia dinner than he was tilapia transfer. Almost female. Both female? All right, so that's four. One more female, one more male. Does it hurt that day? Yeah. Are you bleeding? Let me see. No. No. Okay. What the hell? Small mouth. Small mouth. Red. Red, red. Go do your job. Is that male? Female. No, we need one more there, yeah? And there, so we need one male in that one and the rest. Red, go by my computer and get me one pack. Female? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, put him in there. All right, so that one's complete. All right, so we have all the males. So we need four additional females, yeah? Okay.